So as I said, sales promotion, what's the definition? It's all kinds of tools that are used for stimulating and motivating consumers to behave immediately. That's sales promotion. Tamam? There are, and things have changed for the last couple of years. Before you used to have a bag full of papers for coupons, cut and paste, take the coupons to the store. Now coupons are digital, mobile. You can just go and scan the coupon and get the discount. So even, uh, as I said, everybody is trying to make promotions and trying to make offers for their consumers as much as they can. Not just a specific industry, but specifically when you go to Carrefour, for example, or Monoprix on this, we are talking about what we are talking, of course, definitely about sales promotion more than any other place. Because the convenient products, groceries, stuff like that, they are mostly uh, the ones that are involved in different kinds of sales promotion. So Huggies uh, is, is, is a good example to start with that usually... Uh, uh, is using different kinds, as you can see, of social media has also played a role now, as you can see. Social media, uh, pro promotions through social media, through Facebook, through Instagram, through, 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 and so on. So also technology has, has transformed the way that we deal with uh, promotions in general. We're interested in sales promotion to B2C consumers more than B2B. B2B, of course, it's trade promotions. We call them trade, why trade? Because, for example, a wholesaler, he's telling him, okay, take 10 cartons and take another carton for free. Or uh, you, buy, you buy, for example, one uh, ton of, I don't know what, and you take, for example, a ton for uh, uh, one kilo for free, and so on. And this is how... Uh, uh, this is how uh, things are. Tamam. Uh, let's move on. Huh. These are different kinds of what we're going to be studying. Coupons, premiums, uh, contests and sweepstakes, refunds and rebates, sampling, uh, bonus packs, and, and, and uh, so on. Uh, just one second, my boys. I'm sorry, just one second. Okay, tamam. we're going to be talking about each and every one of them. As we were just saying, when I asked the question, what kind of objective mainly is covered by sales promotions? Connect, uh, connective, yes, I agree, behavioral objectives, like Muhammad Hamza just said that. However, the way that you deal or the way that you distribute or advertise about these kinds of promotions also can play a role in covering other kinds of objectives and specifically awareness. Yani for example, if you have a contest and you have winners, a contest you're going to encourage people to buy and take and scrap and, 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 and write uh, uh, forms and put it and then we have a draw and we have people sweepstakes and people are, are winning like Lulu. Lulu is always doing that in Qatar. Huh? Great. And then when you come to the wood, to the uh, uh, choosing the winners, you make a big celebration, media coverage, social media, you get a celebrity, uh, you uh, on TV, and then, ah, what are you doing now? Only connective objectives? Or are you now starting to touch base with other kinds of objectives? Huh? No, it's more effective. It's more, not just effective, Hamza, no, actually it's more cognitive awareness objectives actually here. When I'm bringing TV to shoot, make is cognitive, is awareness. I'm spreading awareness. I'm using mass media to spread awareness about my offer or about my tool or about my uh, contest or about my uh, whatever. You understand? Okay. So the way that you deal with the tool and the way that you distribute the sales promotion tool will also play a role in touching base with other uh, kinds of objectives. I hope it's clear, yet. Yeah. Tamam. Let's move on back to talk about each and every uh, one of them uh, uh, in detail. Okay. Abdullah, go ahead. What do you want to say? Go ahead, yeah, Abdullah. Uh, trading can be one type of consumer promotions also. What? Sorry? Again? Again? Trading. Uh, trade in, yes. It, uh, explain to us what's trade in, Hash. Uh, like, for what, example, um, if I want to sell something, I can sell it to the company uh, itself. They will give me the price, and I can uh -huh. exchange with it 
with a yes. for a different product, but like I will pay them more. Like yes, I will, yes. No, if you have an, uh, for example, if you have an old car, yeah, and they're telling you, uh, come trade in your car. This is very much uh, common in uh, in, the, mm. in the in the automobile business, actually. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Tamam, great. Yes, bravo. This is also a kind of sales promotion. It can go under one of them, I think. Yeah, you will be talking about it. But yes, as Abdullah said, it's a kind of, and it's common, especially in the car business. Yeah, and maybe in some electronics as well, and so on. Uh, we'll start with coupons, which is the most popular and the most costly kind of sales promotion, and it's heavily used by many, many brands and many different kinds of industries. It's costly on the company, yes. It doesn't usually attract new consumers. It's usually, yani, 80% of those who use the coupons are already current consumers for the company. Yes, it, it 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 can spread awareness. It can create awareness. It can encourage encourage brand switching. But uh, yani, I want to say sorry, encourage. I mean, purchase more. So you can purchase more because you have the coupon, you have the deadline. So you say, oh, no, I'll go for the coupon because you don't want to miss it. So it will encourage you to go again, which is one of the obje ob yani the advantages of coupons. But at the same time, although it has some disadvantages, anything has advantages and disadvantages, but because it's usually liked and favored by consumers, it is growing in popularity, generally speaking, especially digital coupons now. So that's why it's, uh, yani what I want to say, it is, it, we have to use it. It's uh, it's an evil thing, but it has, it's a must. We have to use it. Sharla Buddha in Arabic important uh, distributions of coupons in different ways and yani you can put it uh, uh, inside uh, a, a, a very messer and popular newspaper that's being heavily read by people so you can put it inside freestanding inserts FSIs inside the newspaper so people can get the coupon like this one for example and cut the papers and go and redeem when you, it can be by employees inside store like when you go to have uh, uh, something in McDonald's uh, eat something in McDonald's they give you coupon for coffee for free donuts for whatever, for breakfast, especially they give coupons to products that are not very heavily demanded. So you want to increase the demand on breakfast, for example. So you give coupons easy to breakfast meals and, and so on. It's very interesting. Different kinds of inside the store, in the email, direct mail. You can also distribute coupons by social media now. The most common is usually print media. You know when I used to go to the States, but things have changed. When I used to go to the States a long time ago, I have my sister-in-law, she's staying there, she's an American citizen, and I, and I go visit her when I go to the States. So every time I go to her and we want to go shopping, she's going with me out with a bag and this paper, paper. I think, what is this? She said, these are all coupons that we use for, we can redeem uh, from shops. So they go, if we go to any shop, we're, we're definitely going to find the coupon somewhere to get extra discount. Said, okay, that's great. When I visited her just before the corona, a couple of years ago, I was going and uh, telling her, Inji, where's the coupon bag? Let me know. Now everything is here. No more. So this is how things have changed. Digital coupons. So we used to go, for example, say for Larf Lauren store or Pool or Gap. And then she, I find her getting out her mobile and she's scanning through. And, and, and OK, here's the coupon barcode. And you scan it. She scans it. And then we take the discount. So there are different ways as you can see for distributing coupons. This is an example uh, of, of coupons and uh, sold at uh, Boyer's. This is a famous store. Uh, I think it's a meat store in the States. And this is also an example from Qatar for coupons that are bought in Qatar. Come on, when you are doing your projects, you will see which of these sales promotional tools is most suitable for your project and for your case and for your consumers and for your target market and for your brand image okay what is applicable for potatoes which is a convenient product is totally different than the cars for example right yeah, different kinds of ideas will, 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 will arise yeah. so uh, as you can see different kinds of ways for distributing also uh, yeah, uh, having uh, coupons and, and, and uh, so on Let's move to um, an important part, which is uh, disadvantages also of coupons. Let me here quickly get us and just instant redeem it instantly, which is read, of course, to trial. The kind of behavior it will read to is trial purchase. Remember that from each and every sales promotional tool, you're expecting a specific kind of behavior from your consumer. 
This is very important to understand. So you're expecting the consumer to behave in a specific way. Tamam? So that's why you are focusing how you're distributing the component and what kind of component or any other state function tool you are using. Not everyone will have the same effect. And for example, if you want them to make stockpiling, yani what stockpiling? Yani buy and store. The, if the product is storable. If the, the, the expiry date is not so close. So you want people to buy more. So what kind of sales promotion tool will be suitable, for example? Huh, come on. If I want people to buy more, what? Bonus packs. Bonus packs because it gives you extra products. Buy one, get one free, buy this, buy, and so on. So there is different ways. Uh, and and so on. Cross ruffling is is very common in, in chips bags. Actually, you know uh, the coupon for for example in, in a chips bag, and you find inside a chips bag a, a coupon for the dip for the chips, for example, or a catch a coupon for a soft drink inside the chips bag, for example, and and so on inside the product itself. This is called cross uh, roughing. Uh, and and we talked about the rest and so on. Time. Let's move on. Uh, this advantage, as I said, yes, it reduces revenues because they are costly and the, someone has to pay for the product. So if the consumer is not paying or only paying partially, the rest is paid by the company. So it is costly, but at the same time, as we said, it's a necessary evil. It's evil, but it's necessary because a lot of people like coupons and they are, it's one of the favor, favorite kinds of sales promotion tools for many consumers. Next, premiums, gifts, giving gifts. It can be a free gift. For example, you go to, especially in fast food restaurants, you go, okay, uh, free dessert, free drink. Uh, you got a, a free cup, the gifts that the, the kids, they get in the Happy Meals. All these are kinds of premiums. Uh, here, for example, free small tots with purchase of any Sonic premium, beef, hot dog, and so on. Uh, so uh, this is interesting. What's the key for success here? Yeah, there are different kinds as well, free and mail uh, package, self liquid store or manufacturer, of course. Uh, here there is a very interesting example about a store, an eye center that makes, you know, spectacular specs and Googles, uh, goggles and so on. And they give out a, a custom, a free, you, every time you make, you go and you make your eye inspection and so on, you take, you have can purchase a custom pair of eyeglasses. So that's that's a relevant gift. Here, for example, another example, uh, because Ramadan, you know, is coming, and this is very relevant to our culture, and, and, and in, in Qatar specifically, this is, for example, every time you buy five packs of soup, Maggi soup, you get a free bowl of Pyrex, Pyrex bowl, which is a glass. Pyrex is a very common uh, and well-known uh, brand for uh, glassware, and that tolerates very high levels of uh, of, of, uh, of heat and some of them also enter the oven uh, for uh, cooking and so on so here it's relevant very smart and this is I have to stop here and talk about alliances partnerships remember in branding I told you in your campaigns try to get the right partners and right benefit benefit it's a two ways it's a two win we are both winning we are both benefiting okay try to make alliances try to make partnerships things like this is very useful in sales promotion, tamam. Uh, some of your brands already have currently any batatos. I think is sold in Subway, right? Was or no? And you already have partnerships. I don't so, think so. It's you, sold in a lot of stores, but I don't think it is. I sold, think. La, 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 I think it's a uh, check, please, because I think I uh, Subway. They are partners, Subway is one Subway, of the yeah, partners. Share, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell, uh, the chips at the front. Yes, yes, they do, uh, Moaz. You have to check on this because this is important for your campaign because it's one of the strong partners. Subway is very strong in the Qatari market. Yes, I just checked on my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I have to, yeah, and this is what I, and this is a good example of alliance, of brand alliance. Remember when you talked about this complementary branding, remember? Chapter two? Go back to that. That's kind of good uh, move actually from this brand to spread awareness and to be there and yani it's a good move actually uh, the key to success of premium the key yani not any gift is suitable for the target market remember not any gift is suitable for my brand image and yani for example you imagine you going buying a lexus car a premium car luxury car and playing a lot of money one million plus and then you're finding giving you a gift car order for example or car sent is this a good gift suitable for you, for the car that you have bought from your sub, from the brand owner, from Lexus, you think it's suitable? You think it's good enough? 
Hmm? I guess it depends no, it's on not the brand of the sand. No. On the brand of, of course, the sand, of like... Course. It, no, it, even it, it, the, even if he gets you what, of course, I totally agree with you. Exactly. Unless but if it's something about Al Jazeera, something expensive, yeah, yeah it, has, it has to be like that. But usually the car sense, you know, is the stuff that you buy with a couple of reals, yani, from any store. But if this is the case, it is totally inconvenient, yani, because I'm I'm going, I'm I'm spending a million uh, reals on a car, and then I get this, yani, come on. Does it make sense? Let me tell you my experience with Fadan, with BMW. When I bought my car in 2017, which is not also that expensive, by the way, Yanni, they gave me an LG free TV, LG 65-inch smart TV. It's worth, a pro at that time, it was worth like 14 or 15,000 real. Is this a good gift? It, it Yes, it is matching yes, it with the... It is matching with BMW. It is matching with the target market. It is matching with al -Firdan. Right? Ah, but this is important to succeed in the premium program. Take care of this. Not any gift to Khalas. You have to be يعني, very smart in choosing the gift or the premium. Clear? Okay? Uh, coming to contests and sweepstakes. Some people in, in our countries and cultures say that it's haram or it's um, not very much favored as a way for uh, sales promotions because it has some sort of gambling. You are uh, taking uh, an award or a prize with minimal effort. And this is not something that our religion really encourages. Others say, no, it's okay, it's legal. And the, 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 the evidence is that it's okay in Qatar. It's, it exists. Many companies use uh, across uh, even you know the in, in Qatar if you remember we had um, uh, uh, <laughs> this in Carrefour it was very funny actually it was I think um, I don't know spin and win something like this you spin and then you win something and you can win even to have a free card I, mean, I am shopping for example I bought some things I'm sending and then oh you got chosen in the contest or the, I don't know what, the, uh, the, 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 the sweepstake. You are where you were going to pay for your car, all the products. This was in, in Carrefour, by the way, for some time. So these kinds of contests and competitions, they put the consumer in an interesting mood, yeah. Come on, they have uh, extrinsic value and intrinsic value. But extrinsic is the attractiveness of the price itself. Are we talking about uh, a cars? Uh, electronic appliances, stuff like that, you know, and also the fun, the skill, the enthusiasm, the entertainment that's behind the whole thing. Of course, also there's a scratch and win tickets, you know, the ones that usually on soft drinks, you scratch the, the behind the bottle and you get, for example, free ice cream, free extra soft drink, uh, you got 1,000 real, you got, the, yani, and so on. So there is a perceived value usually behind these kinds of things, yeah. Uh, internet, of course, and social media are becoming very popular venue for these things. And this here brings us to another thing that sweepstakes and contests and these stuff and uh, these kinds of sales promotion don't just cover cognitive objectives. If you do like this, look at this Lulu, huh? mega draw, okay, in Lulu Hypermarket in Nasira, for example, they had media coverage, TV interviews with the winners, social media, newspaper, ah, uh, more than just. Cognitive now. I'm also trying to cover some of my awareness of create awareness about the brand, create awareness about the brand using the different traditional tools that are usually mass media and targeting a large number of a of of consumers and audience and and so on. So it's it's not just about the tool. It's how you are going to distribute and advertise about the tool that plays a role in your objectives. Refunds and rebates. Hasn't been so common in our countries, but lately it's been common, actually. Lately it's been common. Yani I would say that uh, taban refunds are used for soft goods like apparel, clothes, uh, some food products maybe, and so on. Rebates are used more for real estate, um, cars, um, for example, uh, what I want to say, uh, electronic appliances and so on. Rebates, you buy, for example, in the States, you go to Best Buy, you buy a, you buy a laptop and you find a rebate. So $200 rebate, you have to fill in a form, put it inside the mail and you get the check in the mail. So some people are frustrated from this because there's a hassle for redeeming them. Now there is instant rebates and instant refunds. Carrefour, they had it for some time. If you remember, when you buy electronic appliances, specifically from Carrefour, you get 50 real 
or 100 real instant cash rebate. Then you can use it for the next time. Do you remember something like this? You guys remember? It was in Carrefour, by the way, I think a couple of years ago. Before the Corona, after yes. the, no, the, the offers. Are, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, I remember, I, I remember I used this stuff before when I buy electronic appliances from Carrefour. So let's move on. Uh, uh, ah, let me show you a small, uh, it's Arabic, yani, but uh, it's easily explainable. We had a company, and you can build the whole campaign. Yes, you can build the whole campaign. We had a company in Egypt, it's there already. We have a company, it's called uh, Porto. They're a real estate company, and they had a very interesting campaign about what? About an offer. The campaign was creative message strategy, of course. It was creative message strategy. And they used, they say that, well, you're going to buy uh, the product, and then you are going to uh, uh, buy, the, sorry, the, 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 the apartment, and then we'll give you your money back after 10 years. Very interesting, okay, to see how yeah, I mean, this is happening. And you, you buy it and you take it. This is a, a little bit unusual in our market yeah, I mean, to, to have this. Yeah. So let me show you the campaign. It's in Arabic, but you will understand it. Yeah, I mean, and I explained now the... Unfortunately, there's no translation. I explained the, the campaign. Yeah, I mean, but it's interesting to see, tamam, to see how you can make a whole campaign based on that. And they made partnership with a bank to do that. So you buy the apartment. After 10 years, you get your money with a certificate from the bank. So you have your money that you can take after 10 years and you are living in the apartment that you bought. But that was the offer, yeah. And this is the kind, of course, of uh, uh, rebate. Let me show you the ad quickly before we move on to the sampling. Can you all see? Can you all see? Yes, yes, Professor. Look, this is... This is uh, yeah, Allah. Sorry, sorry. Here. Here, here. This is one. I will show you two ads for the same campaign, okay? That's one of them. Shaifin al partnership with the bank, Akhat Balku. Can you see it? Here, Arab African International Bank. To give back the money to the people. You get it? Tamam? So this is the kind of uh, utilizing for the uh, uh, this kind of tool, which is the rebates, as you can see, in real estate. And it, it's it's used in real estate and so on. So uh, uh, just so to show you the campaign quickly. Tamam. Let's move on back to the sampling, which is also very common here in Qatar, uh, in, in many ways, yani, the test drives for cars, the when you go to Carrefour and you make taste sam sampling, yani, I think Carrefour at night, uh, sorry, on the Friday night, long before the corona, we used to have dinner in Carrefour. Kimi tasting, oh my God, everything. Tuna, desserts, coffee, I don't know, meat, everything. It was like so many things are being tasted. If you, if you remember, yani. uh, so after the corona, it's being more preservative, conservative about doing these things, safety and so on. Like in this, also sampling is, getting, is, is delivering free samples also, or taking a free sample of a product. You can put it with another product. That's me doing very well. I want to introduce a new flavor, for example, for something. I want people to taste it. I want to introduce a new kind of packaging. I want to introduce a new product for another product for the same company, brand, another brand. So I put them together and sell it. There is different ways I, want, I can give out free samples inside supermarkets, inside, and so on. There are so many different ways for 
uh, uh, actually doing some in-store direct sampling. And now there is. Um, Sorry, guys, I'm back. Um, can you all hear me? Yes, uh, Professor. Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Miss. Sorry for disturbing you. Sorry. Uh, Tamim, you want to say something? Tamim? Uh, no, Dr. Abai, mistakenly, I just said that. Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, benefits of sampling, Taban, introduced these new products, generates interest, generates leads. Collect information, internet sampling, uh, boost sales. Yeah, I, mean, I think sampling is one of the sales promotion tools that really trigger many kinds of behaviors and for consumers. Really, yeah. I mean, usually when I have my kids and I go to uh, a convenience store, Monopoly, Carrefour, when they have the sampling and so on, and they taste 99.9 percent, .9 we buy the product if they like it. If they like the taste, 99.9, .9, I'm gonna buy it. Even if I'm not used of used to buying it, you know what I mean. So it's very interesting to see how uh, uh, um, sampling really makes a huge difference uh, with consumers, especially if you for trying out new products. Yeah, really, it's, it's, it's very true. Does anybody have any kind of instant about sampling, even in services that they won't talk about in cars, uh, test cars, and uh, test driving, and uh, and, and trying out uh, now there is sampling and services yeah, and for example and yesterday my daughter she had the free piano class to try out with a new uh, uh, academy here in Qatar I want to decide whether she's going to continue or no so we have an online free class so sampling is yani, yani, there is many creative ways for delivering uh, sampling anybody wants to share anything with us please go ahead طبعاً for sampling to be successful, it should be a central part of an IMC plan. يعني it cannot succeed alone. Sales promotion usually complements IMC efforts. Usually it exists, of course, more in your conative for covering your your conative objectives. يعني in your last weeks, third, fourth week. But at the same time, it is part of other tools. يعني it doesn't work alone. It complements. All other IMC tools inside the plan. So very important to see those tips. Very important. See, for example, like mass sampling, for example, it turned to be not very cost effective because you're spending too much money. Yeah, if you if you are giving out free samples in a stadium, this is this is a huge investment. Not like giving out free samples in a small event, for example. You understand? It's, there's a difference, of course, when it comes to it depends on your objectives, actually, and your cost structure and your budget as well. Bring us to another one, which is bonus packs. Taban here, I'm sorry, this is uh, the example of also of sampling, how it's made inside markets and for cheese and this. This is by mistake here. It should have been in the last. I will rearrange the slides. No problem. Bonus packs here, but when it comes to bonus packs, extra, always you have a bonus. This is very common here. Especially in convenient products, of course. In convenient products, very common. The most common percentage is still usually plus 30%, 30% of free, and and so on. Uh, benefits? What do they do? They increase usage of products. You'll buy more, but here, stockpiling, huh? Stockpiling. So bring the product and store it, and so on. Match or uh, uh, or primed competition. Yeah, and you try to to be more better than competitors, huh? To be, uh, uh, يعني, sabak, primped means you are you are doing it before competition. You are taking a step forward before competition, and so on. Bonus packs is like that usually. Yeah. Attracting new users because when I find the big offer out, let me try this product. It's giving me extra. Usually in especially in in, in kids products, by the way, and babies products, in diapers and shampoos and stuff like that. You will find 
30%, 20% extra. Extra, uh, there is a plus 10 pieces inside. Uh, bonus, I don't know what. Yani usually, it encourages also brand switching, by the way. You yani, see the difference between bonus packs, what kind of behavior is triggered by bonus packs compared to what kind of behavior is triggered by sampling. Different, different. Different behaviors are triggered by different kinds of... The last and the best, I would say, kind of... Uh, this one, the most favored, by the way, by consumers is price off. Yani now, uh, sorry, was 100, now 50. Yes, um, the consumer loves this so much. It's his favorite. Especially more than percentages. Which, which do you think is, is better, is more psychologically satisfying for consumers? Sale 20% or sale 50% or now uh, was 100 now 50 which is more satisfying for the consumer do you think hmm. let me get a I trigger your one, uh, i think the one with the money since they don't really yes. have like they just look at it and they understand okay it is now like the others may and you know a problem pickling. exactly you don't bravo Ali. you don't have to sit and calculate and uh, how much uh, just how much i'm gonna say 50 50 50 real. wow i'm happy so this is more satisfying, actually, for the consumer by research, by the way, yani by research. This is what we call the consumer reality. You have to deal with the consumer reality and satisfy it. And don't try to, get, to, go, uh, to go around it. Huh? It's very important. So uh, we have here price offs in many stores in Qatar, and uh, uh, especially also in the apparel business. Yani for example, in the, in the if I Gap, BHS, Marks, and they advertise for it. They have a like sale, spring sale, summer sale. I don't know what. It's seasonality. You sit and you organize yourself in your marketing plan every year. And you see for your brand, when are we going to make the price discounts? When are we going to use coupon Is it, if it's suitable for us? When can we do this? When can we do that? When can we have a competition and uh, organize something uh, more interactive and so on? Yani, you have to make a plan for yourself and try as much as possible to uh, yani, reach your IMC objectives. Benefits of price offs, as you can see. Problems with price offs sometimes. Yes, negative impact. Don't tell me you're a new brand. Nobody knows anything about you. And you're still opening your store. And you start by price off, by, by cutting off. Uh, this, is not, this is not favorite, by the way. Why? Because the people will get used to these cutting in prices. You will not be able to go back to your normal prices if you just start the way like this. Don't give a negative or bad or I want to say undermining impression about your brand when you start your business. Be smart, especially if it's a new brand, because first impressions last. See, why, why, what, why is this? Why are you suddenly increasing your price? You get to no, 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 this is our normal price. We had a discount. I'm telling you, no, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. So you're giving, so take care very much of the negative impact on the brand image. Take care very much of this. You have to be very smart in using or when yeah, dealing with price offs or, or what we call price discounts. This is, of course, a bonus slide to show you how the impact of price off on consumer purchases. That, as you can see, 51% are unaware that this item is on sale. They don't know. No awareness. So it's very important to make aware. That's why, that's why we find many or most of the uh, brands. I remember when I showed you the, the ad for IKEA when they had the offer? Yes. And on Qatar Living when they had the uh, the campaign on Qatar Living? Yes. Because some people are not aware that there is uh, the offer, that there is a price discount. So I use mass media to advertise or to market for that. Okay. That's usually uh, what happens. Types of consumers bad. This is the last thing we're going to be talking about. خلاص. I told you this chapter is very light and, and simple yeah, and easy. I can let you read these slides alone at your own pace, but I will talk about them quickly. What are the different types of consumers uh, when it comes to dealing with sales promotion? We have what we call promotion prone consumers. And these are, are the ones who respond to details usually. Yani, these are the ones who usually respond to uh, details. 
uh, and deals. I'm saying, sorry, respond to deals. And any kind of deal, you'll find على طول, they are there. Any kind, uh, buy one, HRP, they are usually, as soon as the promotion happens, they are in the market. Others are brand lawyers. You think they care about promotions? Hmm? What do you think of brand loyals? Huh? I don't. don't think they care less about the no. promotion because they have loyalty to the product. No matter Halas, yeah, exactly. They will pay because they like they it. Care. They don't care. Yes, they don't care about promotion. Very true. And I buy a specific brand. I don't care. It's on sale. Alhamdulillah. Bravo. It's not. I don't care. I will buy it. They, like loyal. they, have loyalty to the brand. they, will, they will not easily respond and switch to other brands, even if they have a better offer. That's the that's the exact description of brand loyals. They are in love with their brands. They're not easily switch, but but promotion prone, they don't care. They will buy anything on promotion. They will respond to deals على طول. Price sensitive consumers, price is the only or the primary factor that moves them. Only deals that reduce price, they will respond to that. Because not all the deals reduce price. Uh, as a premiums, you'll just get a gift, but it doesn't reduce. I'm not telling you I'm reducing my price. This is why premiums are favored for new brands. If I'm a new brand, give a gift to your consumer better than reducing their price. I had, I, I, I went once here for, for one of your colleagues. It was a girl, actually, she had a new coffee shop. It was a, a gourmet specialty coffee. She invited me on the opening, actually, and I went. Uh, and uh, I found I liked the way that she dealt with her opening. She didn't make any of offers or discounts, but everyone guest coming, leaving the shop, the coffee shop, she takes a nice gazira uh, uh, with them, which was a uh, perfume, which was very luxurious, and also matching with the brand image of selling specialty and gourmet coffee. But this is nice. Does this undermine my brand image? No. Does this harm my brand image? No, actually the opposite. It adds value to my brand image. Tamam? So we have to be smart. What kind of sales promotion is best matching for my brand, for my target market? Not anything. You have to sit and think and be smart. As we said, brand loyals purchase only their preferred brand. Brand preference consumers by the fourth type. Ah. These kind, uh, they have a small set in their mind. I think it all provoked set in consumer behavior. You took it to consumer behavior, huh? It all provoked set of, of brands that are, eh, that are that are hanging up here. Ah, if I want to buy a car, uh, Lexus, Mercedes, or BMW, that's it. I'm not going away from these three. So I don't care. These are the three, three. I will see the best offers in these three, and I'll go for it, for example. Masala. Okay? So I only buy... Uh, Baladna and uh, uh, Dandy, whichever I will find. I, I cannot buy anything. And so so you have a preferred set of brands in your mind and you will go with the one that gives you the best deal. So this is all uh, for this chapter. Taban, you have to have international applications, of course, definitely adapting to each country. You have to look at legal restrictions. Some things are not legalized in some countries. Some others are. Cultural values differ. And emphasis, of course, will differ and vary across the globe for global brands. This is all about this chapter. Very interesting, very quick, very fast, but very useful and needed in your media plans. IMC plans without sales promotion will fail to touch base with the connective component. IMC brands, IMC campaigns without a sales promotion tool will fail to touch base with your connective objectives. Remember that. So you have to include some of them or one of them at least in your campaign in the right way, in the right place, and targeting the right consumers. Tamam?